Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski. Well, game two of this matchup is set to go down tonight. Both teams seem ready, and they're about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. Big hit, and that frees up possession. With possession along the wall. And the stick is best friend on that save right there. Oh, what a hit check on the play. He delivered that perfectly. There's a collision with some authority. Oh, he rocked him on the play. Oh, you know that he felt that one, James. The body is reverberating. Up. on this odd man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have, and then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. West Virginia's been pushing hard here early in this first period, and look at that. Their hard work pays off with a goal. Uh, there's so many mini-games within a game, James, and to start the period, you can look at it as one, and they have certainly dominated in that area, and that when you start the game like this, you dictate the pace, and that's exactly what they wanted to do, and send a strong message to their away opponent that when you come into our barn, you're not going away with a W. Weber's got the puck. The Avs have it from their own end. Takes it along the wall by Tades. Now he takes it over the line. Shot! Denies him with a save. Slides the puck to Baptiste. West Virginia's got the puck in the corner. perfectly. Receives the pass. Quick pass to Gerard. Gives some nothing in front. Gilliardi stick handling in his own zone. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Moves the puck. There's the physical side. Takes the feed. Slides the puck over. Drops to the sweet spot. They score! And it's back to back tallies. Yeah, they've been chopping at them. Now they've got their opponent on their heels. They need a quick change here and find a way to continue the momentum. Well, this is a hard-working goal as well, James. You've got to fight for that inner area of the ice. You know, and when you're in that low slot area, it ain't easy to get to that spot. And then when that puck is on your stick, you know that you're going to come into some heavy traffic. Great job to find the back of the net. West Virginia's got the puck against the boards. Takes it and looks ahead. Shot. Oh, and he lays out to block that, and that'll earn some respect amongst his peers. And now it's grabbed by Landeskog. Sends it out in front, and that goes off a stick. Stopped by the goaltender. 
West Virginia's got the puck along the wall. Tries to feed it over to Rabbit. Picks off the pass. Big time hit on the play, and that had some hot sauce on it. He is so effective without the puck, and that's how he plays, James. He is so physical that he can separate player from puck, creates a ton of turnovers. West Virginia has opened things up here in the first as a result of their offense tonight. Colorado's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Takes the feed from the left side. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Right up Main Street and on the attack. A chance in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Great reflexes, another save. I absolutely hated the back end, and you can certainly tell that he has worked on this in practice a ton. He is so effective at it. He gets it off quickly, but the goalie makes the save. Late going to this period. West Virginia has been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Colorado's got it in the defensive zone. The Avs scoop it up along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. Puts it in deep. West Virginia's got the puck behind the net. Long lead pass to Gallardi. Breakaway! Puts it wide of the net. Oh, that's a big missed opportunity, James. He was in all alone. He had more time than he thought. And just whiffed that one wide. Inside the final minute of the first here. West Virginia's looking to break out. Takes the feed. Makes the save with the glove. Grabbed along the board by Gerard. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Period number one in the books. First intermission entertainment is on deck here. You can also have time to go grab a drink, grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with period number two in moments. Period number two, the middle frame ready to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? West Virginia's had an impressive start to this game. Now they're heading into the second period. It's a bit of an ice tilt in the first, so they want to continue that and opening up lanes. The biggest thing about that is when you open up lanes, you've got to attack and drive. You've got to know exactly when to shoot the puck, and they've been doing it so far in this game. There's one more. They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. Oh, and that's intercepted. Tremendous puck movement here in the offensive end. Oh, what a hit there. Tremendous cycle we're going. There's a hit on the play. Cross ice speed. Moves it to Landeskog. They are really buzzing here in the offensive end. Oh, and a good heads-up defensive play. The Avs are doing a great job of anticipating the play, and that's why the puck is on their stick. They're intercepting pucks all game long. They've got to make good on them. They've got to transfer it, head north, and start cashing in. Can't connect good use of the body on that play. Quick feed to Smallman. The Avalanche have control of the puck. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Denies the chance by blocking it. Great reach with the poke check. Here's a short pass to Manson. Now scores! Off the tip it in! Well, he has absolutely mastered his craft, hasn't he? I mean, hands away from the body, the hand-eye coordination to redirect that puck into the back of the net. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Colorado's trailing by one. The Nighthawks get a hold of the draw. Big shot for the back end, and just got a piece of it to keep it out. Scores! And look at that, they answer right back. Well, the game is a hodgepodge of counters, and this is exactly what needed to happen. They were scored on, they respond quickly, and they find themselves in a favorable spot. Well, that's what he's known for, a beauty backhander here, James. Anytime he gets in and around the net, you know that he'll look to switch it from his forehand to a backhand. Goaltender can't get a good read on it, and it finds the back of the net. 
West Virginia has extended the lead to two goals now here in the second. They look good tonight. Well, they look great, and I'm not surprised by the score. I mean, they've dictated the pace of play, but it's more about how they dominated in the shot selection. They put a lot to the net, James, and they've been rewarded for it. The feed. Breaks it up with the poke check. You can see that all the motion in the offensive zone is to set him up for the one-timer. That is right in his wheelhouse. He lets it rip, but the goaltender makes the save. Score! And they strike Peter once again. Yeah, they do. And their opponents down on their heels are deflated. They've got to find a way to continue with the pressure. Be relentless and try and get another one. Well, you know he's got a quick release shot, James, but he has to get to the net front. I mean, he has to beat one, two players. Incredible agility to be able to maneuver his way to that spot. West Virginia's got a lot of skill on this roster, and we are seeing it in full effect. And we're only, what, halfway through this game here, period number two? Yeah, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean, the confidence at which the entire lineup is playing with is outstanding. The puck's on their stick, they're working their magic, they're manipulating their opponent, and they're filling the net. Moments away from the face-off. Let's get back to the action. The Avs win it. Picked up along the boards by Taves. And now it's over to Colton. The Avs carried along the wall. Devastating collision against the wall. Sends a pass over. Here's a shot. And the goal is and that one going off the defender for an own goal. Well, you don't see that very often when you shoot it into your own net trying to clear the puck. That's ugly. West Virginia's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Musa quickly oh. over to Rantanen. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Puts it on that. Nice save from point blank range. I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James, but man, he flashed the leather. He made the save. No rebound to boot. More than half the frame has been played here. The Nighthawks have a four-goal lead. Rabbits won the draw there on the attack. Turns it away on the slap shot. Oh, and he lines up his opponent perfectly with a hip check. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. And there's the save. Georgiev's got to make more stops like that, James. He's got to reset the momentum for his team. I mean, it's not about what happened or the present moment. It's about the next save, and that's the key contributor to reset this team and get them moving forward. And the puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to regroup. He's got a step. Scores! Puts it in the back of the net and gets higher like the lamb. He lights the lamb as he buries that one, James. But he knows. He has confidence. And he shows just that in that battle. Execution. That's how you do it. Well, that goal just ignites a fire down the entire bench, and, and sometimes it's about the drive and the energy within a shift that can just change the course of an entire game. There's so many ebbs and flows, momentum shifts. This one is one of them. West Virginia's ability to move the puck around tonight has been a treat to watch here, Cheryl. Yeah, and they've really forechecked. They found a way to get the puck on their stick. They've been relentless on it. When they get it, they've had the majority of the possession time, and then when they get it, they're finding something to do with it. Not just hanging out on the perimeter, but attacking the net. Tries to dangle, and the puck skips away. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away, and it goes the other way. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Takes the pass. Oh, wow! Devastating hit there. Oh, painful, James. I thought that one in the broadcast booth. Quick pass to Gallardi. With the puck inside the defensive zone. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Gerard. Oh, he targeted his opponent and delivers a perfect hip check. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Moves it to the middle. And that chance is blocked. And there's a shot. Just wide of the net. Puck grabbed by Gerard. Oh, he throws down an intergalactic 
hit there. Well, and they have to be keeping their heads up here. I mean, you know exactly what he's going to be doing when he gets on the ice. He's throwing a ton of hits so far. The Nighthawks are in complete control of this one. Based on the scoreboard, they have been the more active team offensively all night. Baptiste's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Feeds it on over to Gagne. Two periods down, one more to go. Both teams have time to get a refresh, and we'll be back for period number three. I'm fired up. I know you're fired up for this, too. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. West Virginia has been consistent through 40 minutes of play here, James, and they have a comfortable lead. Now it's about bringing it home, and in order to do that, you've got to make sure that you're defensively responsible. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Moves around along the half wall. Redirected in front. And a big stick save by the goaltender. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. The Avalanche have the puck in their own end. Branton has got it on the offensive end. All alone! Oh, absolutely clutch at the stop! Oh, you gotta love this stuff, James. The game within the game, and this is a one-on-one -on -one battle, and this goaltender, he knows exactly where he's at, and he wins it. The 360 with the puck. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. West Virginia's offense has been a thing to watch tonight as they lead it big time here early in the third. Off the draw, they take possession. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Moves it to Johansson. Here's a shot, and he catches that one with the glove. He's got a gift to read and anticipate the play, and when he drops into that butterfly position, not only is he as big as possible and covers the top half, but he's agile enough to slide across to cover the lower half. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. West Virginia's got the puck. Quick feed to Whiteman. Puck picked up by Byron. Colorado's moving it along the wing. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. No time and space there and just crushes him. What a hit. Dishes it to Tatar. West Virginia is ahead in this game because of the production of that second line. And this is a nice luxury to have. Trying to gain a step. He's in. All alone. Broke it up. He just spins around and tries to clear the puck, and he fires it past the tender. West Virginia's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so, and you always look forward to a day off, and this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. Picked up along the wall by Taves. Handles the puck. The Avs play it along the boards. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. And now he moves it quickly to Cannon. Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. And that's off a stick. Slides it diagonally to Weber. Sends the pass over. Here's a short pass to Weber. Slides the puck across to Baptiste. There's the whistle. We've got an offside. 
West Virginia's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Rabbits, quick stick, lands from the puck here at center. The Avs get a hold of the puck along the boards. And he slides it quickly to McKinnon. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Taken by Rabbit. And he takes the dish. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Slides it over with pace to Gagne. And he slides it quickly to Rantanen. The Avs take it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Gagne. Moves it to Rabbit. And it's a quick pass to Abbott. The Nighthawks play it along the boards. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Skates to the crease. He scores! Oh, wow! That's how you do it! Well, he's in close quarters, James. That's what he's known for. He gets that puck on his stick. His head is up, and he buries it in the back of the net. Well, you have to be an accurate shooter if you're going to score goals in tight, James, because you get closure quickly. you got to find a way to have pinpoint accuracy. It's a game of inches, and he doesn't miss. West Virginia's added yet another one here to the total tonight. What a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. And after the draw at center, they've got a hold of the puck. Takes it to the net! The Nighthawks have had no shortage of scoring opportunities tonight, and they have capitalized and look at the score as a result. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And he takes the pass. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. Oh, here comes the boom. Oh, uh, he's known for this, James. He puts in the back of the net. He scores. James working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier and they gain that entry because they've got numerical advantage and they capitalize and executed with it. West Virginia has been putting lots of pucks on net all night long and they continue to lead late in this third period. Smallman's won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. From the left wing, takes the feed. And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard-earned victory. Slides it over to Lekanen. It's all over. Yeah, this is a tale of two hockey teams right now, Cheryl. At one end of the ice, this is a team that has elevated their game into the postseason, and another that just doesn't seem ready for prime time right now. Well, and you got to give a lot of credit to the team that's up by two, right? I mean, they've got a two-game series lead here, and it's all because of the way they've played. They've really put their opponent on their heels. Now if they can get a three-game lead, I mean, you know, this is almost as good as over. She's Cheryl Pounder. I'm James Sabalski. The playoffs roll on in the next broadcast, and we know we will see you right then and there. Join us there. See you.